So this is the street now after all winter. The salt's got all of our marks covered up. I think it's uh, I think it's time to time to change that for a little bit here. I'll post a picture or a video from last during the summer of what it looked like without all the salt. This is the tire we got right now. Pretty spanked. We're gonna just send her on its way, give it a proper send out, you know. All right, get her fired up. Yep. We tried doing rollers and stuff and there's like all like loose rocks from the salt and stuff. It's like near impossible. I, I gotta get a shinkle front tire for that thing, but we sent the tire to its grave. Well, there we go guys, sixth gear. Ate her right up. She done. That is the proper way to send a tire to its grave. It was already done. We were changing it. We got a takeoff for it. We got her up to six and then she popped. All right, guys. We're going to change it now. That was fun. Now we're going to jack this sucker up, get the bags off, and we'll get this back end off. Alright, now we gotta start by taking these uh, saddlebags out. Look at the smoke coming out of these bad boys still. I don't know if you can see the smoke. <laughs> awesome. So we're gonna start with getting this, uh, this safety clip off. Set that aside. 
Then we need a, a inch and a half socket. Get that in there. Loosens the nut. We can take this uh, chain adjuster off. Now we can come over here and pull the axle out. We take our belt off of there. Next step is to take these bolts in here off of the caliper. This is the bracket. Okay, we'll just roll right out. Shot. I recommend while you're in here to like wipe down any loose grease or dirt or dust. While you're in there, just harder to reach crevices that like you can't really see when it's all together. Just give it a good, uh, good wipe down. I took the back brake pads out. They're totally smoked. So we got some new ones, some freshies. We'll pop those in. You want to put a little bit of grease on this, uh, on the pin for the brake shoes so that it doesn't stick when you go to take it out next time. Tighten it up. There's a bolt there. And then we got this little clip. Take the locking clip. Clip that on. All right, we got our fresh pads in. All right, now we're gonna swap the tire on this. Take the sprocket off. Take this out. All right, we got the fresh tire slapped on there. Now this is the stock Cush Drive rubber and it's, uh, it's flimsy. This is the Alloy R upgraded one. It's a lot stronger. So that's gonna go in there and then we'll put the pulley on. So we're gonna get the wheel back in, but we got a little uh, we got a little surprise going back in. Instead of the stock axle, we got this. Uh, these are MJK adjusters, so we can adjust the belt to a proper tension rather than those half moons that we had before. Um, these are the half moons that we had before. They rotated, and that would adjust the belt. Now, these have like dirt bike style adjustments with a line and number. So this is gonna go in place of the axle and the uh, sliders there. So to install these plates, we have to take the um, lower bolt out of the shocks. Swing that out of the side.
All right, so this is part of the axle. It's screwed into there. So we got the lower shock pulled out there now. Now we're gonna roll the wheel in and then we'll slide the axle through and then we'll put the other adjustment plate on the other side. Make sure you get your uh, ABS sensor in there. All right, we got that slid in there. And now that hole there that my finger's at is where the shock bolt's gonna go through. All right, put the shock through here. The shock bolt back in. All right, shock's tight. On this side, get the belt on there. All right, belt on. All right, now we got to take a half inch socket and tighten up these adjusters until the belt tension gets tighter. We got to do it on uh, do it on both sides even. All right, we're gonna tighten it up now. Just gonna make sure this uh this is tight here. It's all tightened up now. We got the belt deflection pretty perfect. Not nothing crazy. Like I said, we're at like the one line before back behind four. Both sides. So there's that. Now we're going to put the brake caliper back on. We'll give you guys a quick uh, air ride dump. Get this 
caliper back on here. All right, we got the caliper back on there, just the two bolts. Can't forget to pump the brake pedal up. Pump it back up. All right, we got a good pedal because we spread the pads apart. Don't forget that. It's a big point, big, uh, big part of it. Well, there's the finished product. We got the, uh, the axle adjusters. We got the new brake pads. And then we got the uh, fresh tire now.